Hi, welcome to the Contra Costa County Elder Care Channel. My name is Stephanie. I'm the Marketing Director for Horizon Elder Law, as well as today's host for the Contra Costa County Elder Care Channel. Today we're here with Nancy Harrison. Welcome, Nancy. Thank you. It's great to be here. Nancy is a certified financial planner. She is an investment advisor representative with Forrester's Equity Services and founder of Lifetime Planning, an investment and financial services firm. In her practice, Nancy specializes in helping clients develop strategies that fit their goals and objectives. With over 20 years of experience in the financial services industry, Nancy has helped many clients improve their financial outlook. Nancy was the past president of the Financial Planning Association of the East Bay and past board member of the National Association of Insurance and Financial Advisors, the Mount Diablo Association. Nancy, can you share a little bit more about your background and how you got involved with working with seniors and financial advising? Sure. Well, to begin, um, I actually uh, grew up as a farm girl um, on a small farm in southeastern Minnesota where my father raised a variety of crops and as well as livestock. So I learned to appreciate hard work. And I also learned the importance of preserving one's assets over their lifetime. Just as in life, as with farming, there are many, many unexpected things that happen and it's important to manage the risk. As a young girl, I never ever dreamed of being a certified financial planner. In fact, I always thought I would be a nurse. So after high school, um, I did start college and took classes to become a nurse. And then life happened. I got married, moved to California, and then um, started a family. And with that, um, I had to help in providing for my family. So I found a job in the financial services industry. And basically the rest is history. Uh, prior to opening my practice in early 2000, I worked with an independent financial advisor for a number of years. And I found that I really liked working with people. And also, it was, an, it was very evident to me that someone's financial well-being was as important as their physical. So I wanted to make sure that my clients could enjoy the life that they saved for and to take out as much of the worry as I can. That's excellent, thank you. Mm -hmm. So what exactly do you do for your clients? What types of services do you offer? Well, as a certified financial planner, I do offer a full array of services from retirement planning, um, insurance planning, could be educational planning. It's really setting goals and objectives um, for my clients. I take them through what I call a discovery experience and that helps me to identify their goals and objectives. And it also outlines for me what their concerns are. Um, we establish goals and it helps me to empower them. Great. So what are the top five mistakes that you see people make when planning for long-term care? Well, the first mistake that I see is no one really expects that they're ever going to need long-term care. So they never really plan for it. Um, with our you know, medical advances, we are living longer. And because we're living longer, more and more people are going to actually experience long-term care. In fact, about 70% of our population will at some point in their life end up in some sort, end up needing some sort of long-term care. And then I see the second um, mistake that people make is we don't plan early enough. When we're young, insurance premiums cost less because we are younger and we're healthier. And then oftentimes when, you know, you get to be close to retirement, you start to think about things like long-term care. And if you're in retirement, sometimes the cost is too much because you're on a fixed income. The other thing is uh, Medicare does not cover long-term care. So many people actually have a misconception about that. So it's important that they do know that it does not cover long-term care planning. So education is really important. Uh, there are many um, options for long-term care. Uh, it can be individual uh, long-term care policies. It could be insurance and annuities that have built-in benefits for long-term care, as well as looking into associations and partnership policies. Um, it's important to work with somebody who works with multiple companies and can help you assess you know, the policy that will fit your needs best. And then also never forget about our government benefits that could possibly um, come into play. Um, one that comes to my mind is the um, Veterans uh, Aid and Attendance. 
that is available to veterans and their spouses. Of course, they have certain um, eligibility requirements that they must meet. But it's important to check into what government programs are available. But I think the most important factor is you need to plan. Uh, oftentimes, we just don't plan. So it's really important to have a plan that does include, you know, what will happen if I need long-term care. Absolutely. I couldn't agree more. <laughs> I'm coming from a law office. <laughs> so if you had a magic wand to change one thing in the minds of Americans, what would that be? I had a magic wand and I could change one thing in the minds of Americans, it would be um, for people to understand that financial planning is not just for the high net worth individual, that it is for everyone. And I would urge everyone to engage the services of a, of a certified financial planner and make a plan. So what age would you recommend somebody going in and meeting with someone like yourself for financial planning for long-term care or just for retirement or whatever? Well, the sooner you start um, actually planning for the retirement, the better off you're going to be when you get there. Uh, there's a lot of, of just situations where life gets in the way and we don't start planning until we're almost close to retirement and that's almost a little bit too late. So it's important to start planning early, but as far as long-term care planning, it's important just to know that it's something that needs to be considered. It needs to fit within your goals and objectives. Um, so I, I help people, you know, probably in their mid-50s to very early 60s um, to actually start looking to long-term care, you know, while they're still healthy mm -hmm. and they're still able to pay for it and it kind of fits in their budget, you know, for retirement planning. Absolutely, I think that's great. Do you have anything else that you'd like to share? Basically what um, I do for my clients and their families is really to provide uh, strategies and direction through their life stages and their transition uh, with care and compassion. Excellent. Well, thank you so much for your time, Nancy. Thank you for having me. If you would like to reach Nancy for anything, if you'd like to talk to her about just questions about yourself or a loved one, or if you'd like to talk to her about uh, actually doing some planning, she can be contacted at 925-473-1564, or you can also find all of her contact information on the main page on the Elder Care Channel. We thank you so much for visiting the Elder Care Channel. We hope you have a wonderful day.